Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone! This is Brother Jonas for our Lockdown to Look Up series, your daily inspiration amid COVID-19, day 13. At ang pag-uusapan natin is amazing. I love this topic entitled, How to Deal with Fears and Failures. And our Bible verse for today, Seek the Lord and He will deliver you from all your fears. So, just for a while, I'll just share this. Ayan. Shout out to everyone. Magandang gabi. Hi, Ate Mel. Thank you. Present ka ngayon. Nakaabang. <laughs> I'm glad na nandyan ka. Maraming maraming salamat. Kumusta naman ang buhay natin dyan? Kumusta ang uh, COVID case sa Sultanate of Oman? Anong balita na dyan? I hope na okay kayong lahat. And um, I hope na nagbumababa na yung mga cases. Pero whatever happens... Masaya ako na naririnig na ayan malakas kayo, buhay, yan strong. I think that's our biggest gift for uh, today. Ito ang pinakamalaking biyaya sa atin lahat. And also, ayan just for a while, I'll just share this. <clears throat> Pag-uusapan natin fears, failures. Alam ko ang dami sa inyo dito takot na takot. Ano mga kinatatakutan ninyo? Ano mga bagay na kinatatakutan niyo? ngayon. So, unang-una siguro, number one, of course, tako, takot ng lahat, it's about NCOV, di ba? Takot na ma, takot tayong mahawaan, takot tayong magkasakit yan ang, ang number one na fear natin, I think halos lahat tayo ng kinatatakutan natin Another thing for me is fear na makat yung totally yung livelihood natin, alam ko naman lalo na yung mga overseas Filipino workers, most of them eh, talaga na mga uh, nagtatrabaho ng gusto para sa kanila mga pamilya and may joy scary lang sana uh, ma-survive natin lahat ito ma-overcome natin lahat ng mga bagay na ito just for a while I'll just share this bakit hindi ko ma-share just for a while po ayaw ma-share okay <clears throat> ayaw ma-share anyway <laughs> Hayaan niya na kung ayaw, natin pilitin. <laughs> so ngayon, okay. How to deal with fears and failures. Una mga takot natin ngayon, I think, most of us, mga fears natin, we have sa health natin, baka maahawaan tayo ng NCOV. Another thing is yung livelihood natin, totally mawala ng trabaho, mawala ng pera, wala tayong pambayad ng mga bills. And uh, ano pa mga kinatatakutan natin? Siguro yun lang, pinakamalaki talaga sa health and then sa aspeto ng pera. Yun yung dalawang fears natin ngayon. And I think it's up. It's very important for us to discuss this. Anyway, ang Bible verse natin is, Seek the Lord and He will deliver you from all your fears. Ito ang ating magiging uh, guide dito sa pag-uusapan natin yan. So let's start the ball rolling. Unang-una, maraming salamat sa mga nanonood. If you have any question, feel free to write it down. And then uh, sagutin natin yan. Number one, fear. Alam ko, kahit anong ipurso nyo sa buhay, natatakot kayo, may kinatatakutan kayo. But then, sabi nila, um, with regard to your dreams sa mga pangarap mo, wala, hindi darating ang isang araw na totally zero ang fear mo. You know, a few years ago, whenever I want to pursue a dream, whenever I decide to do something new, lagi kong hinihintay na mawala yung takot sa sarili ko. Like, prayers and lahat ginagawa ko na, and then I'm waiting for the moment na totally hindi na ako matatakot, totally ready na talaga ako, wala akong kahit anong maramdaman takot. But then, hindi dumadating sa point na totally burado or wala ang takot ko. And what I observe, in, in whatever dreams that I pursue, malalaking bagay, matataas na pangarap, maliliit man yan, laga akong may takot. And here's what I realize, whatever you do, fear will never leave you. Hindi tayo pwedeng mawala. Hindi pwedeng mawala yung takot. Nung bata kami, whenever I joined a I joined a contest, like, ano mga sinalihan ko? Nung grade 1 ko, sumali ako sa writing contest. Mantakin niyo yun. <laughs> sumali ako sa mga Boy Scout na mga exhibitions. And then, uh, meron din ako mga, like, pag graduation namin, ako yung nagtutula. Ang dami mga pinagagawa kung ano-ano. Like, sumali din ako ng mga quizby, you know, nung bata ako. And may ginagawa lagi yung, yung mama ko, nilalagay niya ng bariya yung sapatos. <laughs> Para daw mawala yung kaba. Pero kahit anong, kahit siguro punoy mo ng pera yung sapatos mo, no? Pag nandun ka na sa stage, maka- makakaramdam at makakaramdam ka pa rin ng takot. 
I believe na parehas sa pag ng mga pangarap mo. Matatakot at matatakot ka. Makakaramdam ka ng takot. And here's the thing. Bago ka mag-act dun sa mga pangarap mo, is hinihintay mo na mawala yung takot na yan. Here's my bad news. Hindi mawawala yung takot na yan. Whatever endeavors that you pursue, hindi mawawala yan. Bakit? Because fear will never leave you. And here's my definition for courage. Sabi nila, courage daw is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing it even when you are afraid. Takot akong mag-abroad, takot akong uh, uh, mag-take ng nursing noon, takot akong mag-act sa passion ko, which is to write books and to become a motivational speaker. Takot akong mag-invest. Okay? Takot akong mag-invest. Ang dami yung kinatatakutan, pero go pa rin ako ng go. And that's one characteristic of the most successful people. Basahin mo mga background ng mga sobrang gagaling na mga um, or successful people, people who have written their names in history, like uh, Bill Gates, like Steve Jobs, mga yan, natatakot pa din daw sila. But then, even if they are afraid, nagago pa din sila. Of course, they try to analyze the risk, ano kayo mga possible na maging risk na may encounter ko. Baka pwede kong i-reduce ito, ano kayo mga pwede kong gawin. Pero kahit takot sila, after nila mag-decide, after nila pag-aralan lahat ng mga bagay, go pa rin sila. Naglo-launch pa rin sila ng mga products nila. Because fear is not the uh, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing it even when you are afraid. Maribeth Menadilia, hi Sir Jonas, God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ayan, hope to see you soon. Simon Rike, ang ganda ng mga in- insights ni Simon Rike. You can never be too prepared and that's true. Kaya pag feel natin, reading ready tayo, feel natin, sobrang dami na nating alam, nagiging negative na naman yun. Why? Because we become complacent. If you think that you already know everything, if you think that you're already equipped with a lot of skills, anong gagawin mo? Matutulog ka na lang, hindi ka na mag-aaral. You will stop learning, you will stop growing. That's why, maganda itong sinasabi niya, you can never be too prepared. Because for me, if you'll become complacent and at peace ka na dun sa meron ka, titigil ka na magbasa ng book, titigil mo nang expand yung mga skills mo, yun nang start ng downfall mo. Another thing is, sabi niya, courage is doing something despite the presence of fear. I love that. And be scared and do it anyway. Um, marami sa inyo dito, like sa relationship, di ba? Takot ka, pero you go for it. Business, takot ka, but then you go for it. Investment or acting on your passion, ang dahil mong kinatatakutan, pero nag-go ka pa din. And that for me is courage. Sabi ni Simon Rike, fear is inverted faith. Instead of focusing your energy on your fear, just focus your thoughts on faith. Faith in yourself and your ability to achieve your dreams. Ang powerful nito. Maraming salamat. Fear is inverted faith. Instead of focusing your energy on your fear, focus on your faith. Pag takot na takot ka na, gaya ngayon, natatakot ka baka mahawaan ka, takot ka baka makat na ang livelihood mo, wala ka ng pambayan ng mga bills mo. Alam mo, yun ang taming fear ng mga tao ngayon. Then, that's the time for you to look up. Okay? First point, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing it even when you are afraid. Second point that I want to share. Okay, let's talk about failure. Failure. The most successful people have the habit. They have the habit of bouncing back after they fall. I encountered overseas Filipino workers na ang kwento nila is nung bago pa lang sila, they started businesses here in the Philippines. After a month or two, lugi, bagsa. And then, try na naman sila, bangon ulit. And then, lugi na naman, try na naman, lugi na naman. Ako siguro series of, siguro eight times, na lugi, na scam, na lugi, na scam, na loko, na scam. Try na naman ng business, na, na fall na naman, bankrupt na naman, try na naman, bankrupt na naman. Until such time na na-discover ko yung favorite ko at yung gusto ko na business. Okay, big message. Failure is a part of your success journey. Hindi pwede nakatipto ka lang sa safe na daanan. Like yung, alam mo yon, puro comfort zone lang ang focus mo. Like takot na takot kang ma-fail. Dapat hindi ako ma-fail sa business. Dapat hindi ako ma-fail sa relationship. Dapat hindi ako ma-fail sa passion ko. Dapat hindi ako ma-fail dito sa, sa career na ginagawa ko. If you are too careful not to fail, then you will never learn. You will never grow. Because growing equates failing. You want to become expert and genius in handling your finances? 
magkalat ka. <laughs> Gaya ngayon, ako, na-scam ako, may kaibigan ako, tinakbo niya yung 130,000 pesos ko, bigla na lang siyang naglaw after a week or two. And then meron akong almost half million na business, as in nag-fall, zero talaga, nawala din yung dapat tutulong sa amin sa marketing. Sunod-sunod na failures, sunod-sunod na scam. At alam niyo kung ano nangyari ngayon? wala nang makaka-scam sa akin. <laughs> Bago ako papayag sa'yo na mag-business tayo, busisin ko muna yan, hindi muna ako basta-basta mapapapayag. And here's what I learned. I learned to become very careful in handling with, in handling my finances kasi na-scam ako, kasi na-fail ako ng ilang beses. And the same true with everything that you do. Finances man yan, business man yan, relationship man yan, career man yan. Pag na-fail ka, the next thing that you need to do is to bounce back. Bawi ka. Kasi kung gusto mo maging malak, you want to become a millionaire, you want to become a billionaire, well, kailangan mo bankrupt ng million-million. You want to become a millionaire, kailangan mo mawala ng hundreds and thousands of pesos. Part yon ng journey. Sino mga favorite niya? Sino mga favorite niya na may kwento ng massive failures sa kanila? I don't know if you will agree. Magte-take time ako ha. Okay lang ito. Marami tayong oras. Do you know Thomas Alva Edison? Thomas Alva Edison is the inventor of light bulb. Eh, di ba si Thomas Edison, i- around 10,000 failures bago niya nahanap yung patent ng light bulb. 10,000 failures. Samantala ikaw, hindi ka pa, siguro dalawang beses ka pa lang na-fail, eh, ayaw mo na. But Thomas Edison, 10,000 na patent ang tinray niya bago niya na uh, discover yung sagot dun sa ina-experiment niya. Sino dito may mga idol na maraming failures? Ito, you will agree with me, Jack Ma. You know the story of Jack Ma. Jack Ma is the richest man in China and one of the richest men in the world. Diba? Yung Alibaba na yan. Grabe si Jack Ma. Diba? Ilang beses na uh, nag, nag-apply sa Harvard, nag-apply sa KFC, hindi nakuha, nag-try ng ganito, nalugi. Ang dami niyang stories of failures. Nakakatawa yon yung sa KFC yating 24 sila nag-apply, 23 ang hinar nila except siya. O diba? Failure. Gustong gusto pang story ni Jack Ma. Despite sa lahat-lahat ng mga closed doors, lahat ng mga umayaw sa kanya, tignan nyo, naging billionaire siya, naging richest man in China and on earth. Hanggang ngayon, di ba? Isa siya sa pinakamayaman. Baka kaya ka pinagsasarhan ng maraming pagkakataon ngayon kasi may piniprepare sa yung mas malaki. And I believe kung hindi dahil sa mga rejection and experience ni Jack Ma, hindi ganun kakapal ang mukha niya. Hindi ganun kalakas ang loob niya. Kasi wala na experience na niya ang rock bottom, na experience na niya lahat ng mga worst sa buhay niya, hindi na siya ganun katakot. And if you experience so many, you know, hard uh, times in your life, hardships in your life, well, I think pag hindi ka tumigil, pag pinagpatuloy mo yan, I know that you are up for something big. Kaya gayahin natin si Jack, hindi siya tumigil, nagpatuloy lang. Another thing, another person, <laughs> another person, I think, uh, sino ba? Uh, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter. If you know J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, uh, namatay ang mother niya, nagkaroon siya ng depression, pumunta siya ng Portugal to work as a uh, parang English teacher, tapos na, um, na in love, nagkaroon ng anak, then nag-divorce. See, nag, nag-adjust pa lang siya, nag-move on pa lang siya sa pagkawala ng nanay niya, nag-asawa siya ng anak, nag-divorce, bumalik siya ng UK, broken down, defeated, as in rock bottom, walang pera, nawalan ng nanay, um, nawalan din ng asawa. Pero may idea siya yung about doon sa Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling is the author of Harry Potter. And then, noong natapos niya yung first three chapters ng Harry Potter, sinabmit niya sa publishing companies. Yung publishing companies, sinabi sa kanya, nako, walang magbabasa nitong children's book, walang magbabasa ng libro mo. And then, second try na attempt. Pagkabigay niya, hindi pa rin tinanggap. And the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the tenth, hanggang twelve big publishing companies ni rejecting Harry Potter. Pero hindi siya tumigil. Um, nag-apply siya sa isang maliit na parang publishing company. Ang pangalan ni Bloomsbury Publishing. Pinablish yung book niya yung Harry Potter. Pero sinabihan siya, okay, we will publish your book, pero kailangan mong uh, maghanap ng day job kasi hindi ka yayaman sa pagbabenta ng children's book. And pinablish lang yun ng Bloomsbury, ng maliit na publishing company, kasi binasa ng editor sa harap ng kanyang anak. Or basta mali, bata daw, child, daughter, I'm not sure. Pero yung bata na yun ang nagsabi sa kanya na, ipublish nyo yung Harry Potter kasi maganda yung book. Batang nag-influence dun sa editor na ipublish nila. And then pumayag sila, pinablish nila yung Harry Potter and the rest is history. 
grabbing failures. Pero look at J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling became the first ever author, female, billionaire. Ah, di ba? Despite sa lahat ng mga nangyaring failures sa buhay niya. See, the people who will really make it big in life are the people who failed a lot but despite of the failures, tumayo pa rin sila. Kaya ngayon, pag nababangkrap ka sa business mo, nanugi ka sa relationship, <laughs> iniwang ka sa ere, or sa mga investment mo, wag kang tumigil. Pag hindi ka tumigil, makukuha at makukuha mo yung mga pinagdadasal mo ang gusto mo maabot sa buhay. Kasi natuto ka na, magaling ka na ngayon. Okay, magbasa tayo ng ibang comments. Um, Maribet, ay si Maribet, masayang love life. Failure is the prerequisite to success. I do agree. The most successful people, tina mga history nila. Sa Pilipinas, huwag na tayong lumayo. Uh, Lucio Tan, uh, Henry C, mga history nila. Mga yan, anong mga pinanggalingan? Henry C, di ba? Saan siya nang galing sa sobrang hirap na buhay? Rejection, failures. Pero tingnan nyo, nag sa pinakamayaman dito sa Pilipinas. Um, Simon Rique, hi, don't mind, you negative, but just acknowledge. Ah, okay, yeah, meron ditong, <laughs> ang hirap lang talaga, Sir Jonas, pag may anxiety, yung di pa nangyayari, pero natatakot ka na. I always experience it, especially at night. Can sleep well. Usually, I wake up at 3 a.m. I'm so afraid. OMG, sorry to hear that. Maribet, uh, ano ba? Pag nangyayari yan is uh, mag-pray ka lang. You need to, you know, get your Bible and then read and then meditate, deep breathing exercises and then pray. And then kung may makausap kang ibang tao, mga kaibigan mo, gawin mo yon Ha? Sad to hear. Sabi ni Sai, thank you Sai. Sabi ni Sai, hi Maribet, don't mind your negative thoughts. Just acknowledge na andyan siya. But huwag mong pansinin. Train your mind to think three positive things whenever you think something negative. Try to write a gratitude journal. It helps me lower my anxiety. By focusing on things I'm thankful for, I attract positive thoughts. Yes! And um, sa mga nakaka-experience ng anxiety, isa sa mga prescription, prescription ko talaga is gratitude journal. Uh, wait lang, hilain ko lang saglit. Ayan. Boom. Ayan. This is my gratitude journal. Okay? And uh, for siguro 5 years, 4 years na ako nagsusulat ng ganito. Itong gratitude journal ko, every day yan meron. Every single day, every morning. When I wake up in the morning, ito ang unang ginagawa ko. I write 10 things that I am grateful for in my life. Anyway, pag-uusapan natin ng gratitude sa susunod na mga topic. Pero, Maribet, yes. Mag-journal ka, ha? Every time na nag-anxious ka or ina-attake ka ng anxiety, mag-journal ka. Okay? And for me, yan. Second to the last thing that I wanna cover, baka nag-overtime na tayo is, failure is not about Doing it, and then you did not hit the goal. For me, failure is you really want to do it, but you did not try at all. Okay? Failure for me is not trying at all. Ang tingin ng mga tao is, okay, mag-business ako. Ito ang puhunan ko, 1 million. Tapos after that, um, dalugi siya. And then sa tingin niya, failure na talaga yon. For me, parang hindi siya false failure para sa akin. Because you tried. The mere fact that you showed up and tried and risk <laughs> for me, at may natutunan ka, may mga lessons dyan, success pa rin para sa akin yan. Kasi ang real failure is, gustong gusto mong gawin ng isang bagay, but then because of fear of failure, hindi mo ginawa. Yon ang totoong failure. Ito ha, um, five years ako nag-stay sa abroad, and then last year, I really wanna go home. Pero yung, alam mo, well, hindi mo talaga malalaman na totally prepared ka na kahit anong gawin mo, kahit anong preparation ang gawin mo. But then, sobrang, yung worst yung scenario na, ano ba, mag-stay ba ako, uwi na ako? What if ganito ang mangyari? What if uh, ganito ang mangyari sa Pilipinas? Nanyo nangyari ngayon, biglang may NCOV, di ba? Cut lahat ng mga workshops, na parang OMG, paano kayo makakabawi? Pero, lagi like kong sinasabi noon na nag-decide ako umuwi, Gusto ko lang gawin ng isang bagay na gustong gusto ko. I do not want to drag myself to work just because of money. Ayoko na yon. Gusto ko na mag-decide. I want to do something na mahal, na mahal ko at gusto kong gawin. Like writing books, speaking in front of people. Eh, hindi naman to agad-agad na sobrang yaman mo, di ba? Masusuportahan ka through finances. Pero sa akin, ang iniisip ko is, pag ginagawa ko ang isang bagay na ayaw ko, mafe-fail ako. I'm sure mafe-fail ako. But why not try to do something that you love to do, that I love to do, and then okay lang kahit ma-fail ako. Di ba? Sabi, parang, an, saan mo gusto ma-fail? Sa isang bagay na ayaw na ayaw mo? Or sa isang bagay na gustong gusto mo? Okay na ako dun. At least this time, umuwi ako ng Pilipinas, 
I'm a full-time author and speaker. Kung ma-fail man ako dito sa ginagawa ko, at least sa pagbigyan ko ang sarili ko. And I don't want to live in regret. I don't want to live in what-ifs. Because the most painful thing that can happen to you is you live in regret. And the last thing that I want to cover is this. The worst, worse than failure, fear of failure is regret. Nagkandak sila ng experiment sa mga elderly people sa isang home for the aged and they ask them, ano ang isang bagay na pinaka pinaka uh, 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 saan ka mas nagsisisi? Sorry. Saan ka mas nagsisisi dun sa mga bagay na ginawa mo and then you did not hit your goal? Or sa mga bagay na gin, na na, uh, na gustong ano may <laughs> dalawa. Okay, ulit natin. Saan ka nas, na, mas nagsisisi dun sa mga bagay na ginawa mo, tas na-fail ka, or sa mga bagay na gustong-gusto mong gawin, pero hindi mo nagawa. Two things. Mga bagay na gustong mong gawin, ginawa mo, na-fail ka, hindi mo na-hit yung goal. And then the other thing is, gustong-gusto mong gawin, pero hindi mo ginawa. And then the result of the experiment is this. Majority of the elderly people, they answered, na ang pinakamalaking pinagsisisihan nila ay hindi ang mga bagay na ginawa nila, tapos hindi nila na-hit ang goal. Pero ang pinaka-pinagsisisihan nila ay mga bagay na gustong-gusto nilang gawin pero hindi nila nagawa because of fear of failure. That's why I encourage you to do something that you love. Pursue your dreams. May fear, okay lang yan. Courage is, do, is not the absence of fear. It is doing it even when you are afraid. Diba? Sabi ni Mark Twain, 20 years from now, You will be disappointed by the things. You will not be disappointed by the things that you didn't do. Pero madidisappoint ka sa mga bagay na gustong gusto mong gawin pero hindi mo napagbigyan ng sarili mo. 20 years from now, madidisappoint ka sa mga bagay na gustong gusto mong gawin pero hindi mo nagawa. That's why I encourage you, pag-aralan nyo yung mga pangarap nyo and then launch and then act. May, may isa akong estudyante, sabi niya, I really want to write a book, pero takot ako kasi baka walang bumili. And then sabi ko, you know what? For me, success is not about just, um, ano mo yun, nagsulat ka tapos na-fail ka, walang bumili. Or, ang success sa akin is ginawa mo kahit na-fail ka, okay lang yon, Di ba? So, gusto niya magsulat ng libro. Sabi ko sa kanya, magsulat ka lang. Pag naging author ka, for me, It's already success. Kaya sa naman, gusto mo siyang gawin, pero hindi mo nagawa. Okay? So yan po ang pinag-usapang pasensya na. Fears and failures. And ang Bible verse natin na kalagay is, Seek the Lord and He will deliver you from all your fears. At the end of the day, how to deal perfectly with your fears and your fear of failures is to surrender everything. If you are the kind of person who has this perspective that whatever I do, I know that God is in control. Whatever I do, I know that God has a plan for me. Kahit anong gawin ko, i-redirect niya ako dun sa mga bagay na para talaga sa akin. What I need to do is to act, to try and try and experience kung ano man yung mga bagay na yan na makakakuha ng ko ng maraming lessons. Okay? How to deal with fear and failures? You just need to surrender. Yung perspective mo dapat is, whatever happens, whatever you pursue, lagi mo lang i-claim na, God is watching me, God is there beside me, God will not allow me to fail massively na totally talagang halos, habang humihinga ka pa, yun yun, habang humihinga ka pa, habang buhay ka pa, may pag-asa pa. Yun ang paniniwala ko. Maraming maraming salamat po. And before we end this, Uh, can we just pray para sa pandemic? Alam niyo naman, lockdown to look up series natin, day number 13. So let's just pray. <sighs> can I encourage everyone, lahat ng mga nanonood, to just uh, close your eyes and just uh, feel the presence of the Lord. Invite the Holy Spirit to be in our midst. Just relax now. Experience the loving embrace. Experience that encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our dear and ever-loving God, we glorify you, we praise you, we adore you, we exalt you higher and higher. Well, thank you so much for the spirit that we are experiencing and countering today. And the mere fact that we are alive, we're still breathing, is your biggest gift today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of people. We thank you for the gift of friends. We thank you for the gift of family. We thank you for the gift of technology, Panginoon. Lord, I just want to lift to you 
every person is watching now. I live to you the life of Maribet who is experiencing anxiety, Panginoon. Enter inside her heart, Panginoon, and touch her heart. We believe, Lord God, that you're the ultimate healer, the ultimate doctor. And Lord God, I lift to you each and every person and no not going bless them, Lord, in the different aspects of their lives, in their health, in their finances, in their career, in their families, in whatever dreams that they have inside their hearts. Whoever, Lord God, who's watching now, who's having big problems, takot, punong-puno ng takot ngayon, pagkabahala, pag-aalala, Panginoon, because of the COVID-19, fear kung saan kukuha ng panggastos, fear kung makakapasok pa, makakapagtrabaho pa, fear how to support their families. Tinataas ko ang kanilang mga buhay, Panginoon. Pasukin mo ang kanilang mga puso. Give them the assurance, Lord God. I pray for faith. I pray for trust. I pray that they surrender everything to you because you are our ultimate provider and you're watching over us and you know what's going on, Panginoon. Lord God, we pray, we even pray for the pandemic now. We pray, Lord God, for those who are afflicted. We pray for healing. We send the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, into their lungs, into their cells and tissues, to their hearts. Heal them, Panginoon. And Lord God, we pray that this pandemic San Lord mag-end na. We are praying, Lord God, for the stop of the spread so that we can go, all go back to our normal lives with deeper faith, with bolder faith. May mas malaking paniniwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for everything. We believe, Lord God, that this pandemic, hindi lang siya dumaan, but it came because of bigger lessons. At sana matutunan namin yun, Panginoon. Whatever happens in our lives, Lord God, we may experience crossroads, we may experience challenges and failures. Teach our hearts to trust you, that you are in control. Lord, thank you so much. Despite our weaknesses, our sinfulness, mga kahinaan namin, Panginoon, our brokenness, you still love us. And we just want to welcome the love. We're opening our hearts to receive you, Panginoon. We just want to let you know that we love you. And all these things we ask through the most powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. The name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa mga nanood. Thank you. Magsha-shoutout lang ako before I end. Amen. Sana na-bless kayo sa dasal natin. Uh, Mag-shoutout lang tayo. Salamat po sa mga nanonood. So, kayong pasalamatan. I wanna say thank you to... Uh-huh. Maribeth, thank you so much. Pagpalain ka pa. Ate Mel from the Sultanate of Oman, thank you so much sa pagmamahal. Hi, Shelo. Simon Rica, thank you so much for the insights. Ha? Deeply appreciated. Grabe, siguro kailangan mo na magsulat ng book mo o kaya mag-vlog, ha? gumawa ng mga ganito. <laughs> anyway, um, Maribeth, yeah, thank you. Del Valle MJ, thank you for your encouragement. Pagpalain ka pa, Del Valle MJ. And to Ate Mel and Shelo, thank you so much. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. At sana samahan niyo ulit ako bukas sa isa na namang ganito. Magkwentuhan tayo. Lockdown to look up series. Let's take advantage. Habang may, may quarantine pa or um, habang may lockdown para makapagdasal tayo together. And the main purpose of this uh, ginagawa ko na lockdown to look up series is hindi lang sa inspiration talaga, kundi sa prayer. Gusto, na, gusto kong, I really want to bombard the heavens with prayers and thanksgiving at gusto ko kasama ko kayo as one community na nagdadasal sa taas. Okay? Maraming salamat. Sana na-bless kayo today. Pagpalain pa kayo, mag-iingat kayong lahat. Maribet, <laughs> yes, mag-iingat ka. God bless you, ading ko. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I am forever grateful for the love, for the support, and for the trust. Let's nourish our spirit and join hands in prayer that this pandemic This COVID-19 will soon end. God bless. Bye-bye.